Hey what's up guys, this is Kent C aka Burnout and um, I wanted to film this real quick for you guys finally got it cleaned up this is uh, a preview of Carrier IQ here's the app, not much information on it, you can go to that link there, that will give you some good info I'm going to give you some other good info real quick so if you scroll down at this link right here this application it's good to detect it but do not run this on your phone I'm gonna give you a quick close-up do not run this on your phone to remove the ICQ if you have a T-Mobile SGH T999L model if you do you will soft break your phone guaranteed uh, that's exactly what happened to me and to fix it uh, look actually I'm not the only one that's had this issue you can see someone else here had a similar issue this is the T-Mobile website by the way just so you can tell this is their official support so scroll through agent says uh, something pretty generic that you would probably want to try but apparently the person tried and then it says right here, just so you can see, after a factory reset, uh, still, still getting the same error message. Okay, that's what happened to me, exactly. Uh, and you can see here uh, what they're telling you: phone replacement options, and that's where T-Mobile's support ends. Okay. So let me let me actually show you the uh let's bring up that thread real quick. Okay, so I actually looking on the internet uh here on this link here, this is basically what happened to me. Okay, you can see That's exactly what happened. Okay, and this actually will help fix it, but uh, there's a catch to that. Okay, you see what they said? They they tried the hard reset and wipe catch partition, and it wasn't fixed. So you can see that's uh, been done by a few people, both in this T-Mobile thread and that one. How to fix it? We're gonna get to that real quick. You're going to want to go to this thread. And look up on XDA. Look up this guy right here. And this is for, like I said, a T-Mobile uh, Galaxy S3. Now in the TechCrunch uh, news article I had earlier, it didn't it didn't discuss T-Mobile on the list of people doing this but I just want to assure you T-Mobile is in fact doing this alright that you will find uh, the carrier IQ on your phone if you have a newer version like 4.3 okay so basically to flash your to basically restore it so you don't have to do anything crazy and you can get your phone back since uh, the information is really not out there too well you're going to want to come to uh, like I said the this guy right here right here and you're going to want to follow these instructions mind you you can do the whole thing just like he says uh, this portion I wouldn't really worry about too much the part where he says wait for five to ten minutes uh, you don't have to do that. Just go ahead and follow this instructions, and then after you do it, uh, just go ahead and go immediately right into doing the stock kernel next, and then do the stock recovery. And this is how it looked for me. That's exactly what I did. You can see it, uh, it loaded, it showed my comms, 
I only had those things checked and I only used PDA and I just did one at a time you could see here okay so I was able to restore it and uh, basically yeah when you're done then you just uh, you know you're rooted you're good to go and let's show you real quick kind of a couple examples but there's something about this you need to be careful of they're not going to tell you but I'll tell you so if you go get this phone app right here phone info it's kind of hard to see but there it is okay you'll notice that the Knox warranty void is now 0x1 that means it's the Knox has been tripped the e-fuse or whatever so just be aware of that when you're doing the uh, flash through Odin with the uh, I mean it's better to have your phone back anyways so that's what I got uh, here's the application you can use to actually here's a really good app that'll tell you a little more detail than most of the other free ones I prefer this one the best Voodoo Carrier IQ Detector 2.0.5 You'll notice that it'll literally tell you IQ carrier IQ was not found. It'll give you a lot of extra stuff that you don't need as far as what you need to care about. It'll even tell you if it's inactive but found, which the others I notice don't. So you want to grab that to check. And then oh well, actually let me do this. This is what my phone currently has. And this is the uh, this is from the ROMs that I used on that guy's site on XDA developers, and then it's kind of hard to see this one, but it says. Well, there. I'll let you get a look. See, there you go. See, that was. 4.3 so it went from 4.3 now it's been downgraded to 4.1.2 um, and what did I do to do it just to make it even easier for you I downloaded these three files um, I didn't really find a uh, an MD5 check file verification checker so I just used these and I did that one, then that one, then that one, all in Odin, as you saw, and basically just got this, Oops. and then I just ran this as administrator, and then um, once that was done, everything seemed to work out, and now my phone is back, but the only problem is, is now its warranty has been tripped, but I have a working phone and once again you won't like I said this is this is just so you can see the thread again you want to go here and if you can this guy also has a place where you can donate a little bit of yeah see right here you're gonna want to go ahead and support this guy right here I'm talking about yeah. All right, uh, this is Ken C. A. K. Burnout. I just wanted to show you uh, how to save your phone, how to unsoft brick it if you end up in a bad place, like I did uh, on a T-Mobile uh, SGHT999L. This method I just showed you will unbrick. Your unsoft break your phone. Thank you.